our God is wonderful and mysterious in so many ways. But you see, the mysteries of God are not meant to hide things from us, but they are meant to excite us, to unravel those mysteries and walk right with him. It is the business of the king to hide the matter. It is the business of the one that is diligent to find out that thing that is called a mystery. Today we are going to read Psalm 136. Psalm 136. We are going to read verses 8 and 9. The son to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. Now this thing, if you reason it, it won't make much sense. We all know of the dangers at night. Some of us don't know it very well, but we have that apprehension about what happens at night. Nighttime is supposed to be a time of danger, a time that things are not going the way we expect them to be, the time that all the evil forces are at work, and we all get troubled about what happens at night. And you would have expected the sun, which is the bigger power, to rule the night. No, instead it is the moon that rules the night. The day you see where you are going, you know all the things around you, you can calculate your steps and everything. That's where the sun, which is the bigger power, is ruling. And I want us to understand some kind of thing from this scripture. Who is the sun? Who is the moon? Because that's going to help us. The moon takes the light from the sun. So if you are going to reason, you will discover that you, if you are indeed a child of God, you take your light from Jesus. I am the light of the world. That is Jesus. In John 1, at verse 4, the scripture says, In him was life, and the life was the light of man. The sun gives light to the moon. Jesus gives life to men, to the church. So, here is the sun, Jesus Christ. Here is the moon, the church. The men that the church is composed of. They bear the light of Jesus. And therefore, they could govern the night, not because of the authority, but because of the authority that is derived from the sun. We should give us an idea. The day is wondrously dangerous. In the day you are moving about, you are exposed to every kind of thing, more things you are exposed to by day than by night. Because those same evil forces that work in the afternoon as much as they are at night. And so many things are happening, your movements, your interactions, so many other things. We don't seem to realize that the Daytime is eminently dangerous, even more so than the night. And that is why we are now given the power to rule the night. Do we rule the night? Are you the one that has derived light from Jesus? How are you using it in your night time? Night time can be any time. I'm talking about spiritual night time also. If you realize that you are the one that has received light from Jesus, how are you using it? He says, you are the light of the world. He is the light of everybody, but you, he has appointed the light to your household. Are you the light in that house? You, he has appointed the light in that office. Are you? He has appointed you, the light in your environment. Are you? Do you govern the situations that are around you Rather than that, everything is governing us. Are we light anyway? Are we the moon? Did you ever see the moon come out? And any way that it touched was dark? No? It will bring brightness to every situation. And when the moon is so bright, oh, you like it. You enjoy it. The same way if you brought out your light fully, everything will be peaceful. Everybody will like it. The, the ambience is wonderful. Have you ever walked out at night? When the moon is shining, you enjoy every bit of what you are doing. It's so peaceful. Are you that peaceful? Do you bring that light that makes people feel good? Maybe there could be, but I doubt if there is someone who does not feel good 
when you are walking under the moon, when a shining moon is out and you are outside there. Everything changes. You like the sweetness of it, some kind of sweetness you cannot even hold on to. You want it to last forever. Is that the kind of thing that you generate from you? Are you that moon? So let's realize that we are supposed to be the moon that brings peace at night. So many people are in the night time of their lives. You are supposed to bring succor to them. You are supposed to bring peace to them. You are supposed to change everything about them. Are we doing it? Let's learn to understand that there is an expectation God has of us. And let us live in such a way that that expectation is not lost. Because I do know that if you shine one day, God helps you to shine brighter. Be that moon in any situation and circumstance and environment you find yourself. God depends on you. The Son, Jesus Christ, depends on you because he has given you light. Utilize that light. And God will promote you, elevate you, and give you the rewards that are only available with him. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.